week I'm going to show you how to make some very 1950s cheese appetizers with a cookie press. No baking needed. You'll need a packet of cream cheese. This one is 250 grams or about eight and a half ounces. And this is the smallest packet that I would suggest. And you'll need some crackers, of course. And you'll need some decorations. I have used red food colouring, green food colouring, paprika and stuffed olives. You'll also need two very particular pieces of equipment. You'll need a cookie press, of course. This is a Miro cookie press from the 1950s that I bought on eBay for about $15. And you'll need a baking tray that is not non-stick because you really want these to stick. As you can see, mine is quite beaten up and if it was non-stick, at one stage, it definitely isn't now. You'll need to start by softening your cream cheese. Now you can cut it into small pieces like this and mash it with a fork, but I'm going to use an electric mixer. And that's nice and softened. If you want to add food colouring, add a couple of drops at this point. Now fill up your cookie press with the cream cheese. And I find it best to do this with the cookie press over the tray. If any of it leaks out the bottom, then you can just scrape it up with a spatula and put it back in. Screw on the top. You want to start by squashing out any air. So just turn the screw or press the trigger if yours is a trigger model until all of the cheese is firm against the decorative plate at the bottom. And there we go. Now put the cookie press down on your tray. Just going to start in a corner and turn. Now the first one might not come out perfectly, you have to turn it quite a bit more than you think for the first one. And lift. There we are, it's not perfect, but we can always just put that back in and have another go. Now for every second one, if you're using a Miro press, turn it one third of the way around. So this side of the press will be turned around to here. Lift straight up, turn again, and straight up. There we are. Now, if you're bothered about these not being perfect, just scrape them up, put them back in the bowl, and have another go. And keep doing that until you've used up all of your cheese. Now, for this particular design, I'm going to sprinkle them with some paprika. You can sprinkle them with absolutely anything you like. Oops. And now put them in the fridge for a couple of hours to set. To serve up, pop some crackers onto a plate. There are a couple of little tricks to removing the cheese shapes from your baking tray. Take a knife that has a smooth edge. It's just a plain butter knife. And put your knife on the board next to your shape and press down quite hard and slide it underneath. I'm pressing down really, really hard here. And be just as delicate putting it onto the cracker. Lay down one edge that is not on your knife and roll the knife out of the way. And there you have it. With a bit of practice, you can take these off the tray perfectly every time. And finally, decorate any way you like. I like to put a slice of stuffed olive in the middle of these. For the Christmas tree, you could put a raisin on top for the star. You could cut 
candied peel and use that to decorate it. Absolutely anything you like. If it goes with cream cheese, try it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, or click on the gingerbread man below to watch another one.